fun hope that you all are doing well as in my previous video had discussed and implemented CRUD application integrating my beta. If you haven't watched the link would be in the i button. Click on the link and do watch it. Today I'll try and implement a complex search query using my beta. We'll learn actually the true potential of my beta. That how a complex uh, MySQL query can be made very easily using my beta. But before we jump into the video's context, I would like to request you that if you find my videos knowledgeable please do like share comment on the video and if new to the channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so let's directly jump into the course context i'll be making a rest application with a complex search query right so let me create a project so i'm on my id let me create a project create a project it's a spring start a project we're taking java 21 and my project name would be spring boot with complex my Vitis, right and the packages and all are made let's go st next so here we are working on mysql so we'll be using the mysql driver we are using the spring version as 3.3.2 we'll use it uh, spring web dependency and along with that we'll be using the my Betis dependency as told in the previous uh, video as well that my Betis framework is uh, here has been uh, is basically being used in place of Spring Data JPA, right? So it will resolve our problem of uh, using Spring Data JPA. So let me finish and import the project. My project is imported and it is ready, right? So let's see the pom.xml first. So here is my pom.xml, right? So we have few dependencies of like Spring Starter Web and MyBetis dependency and MySQL connector dependency. So we are using MySQL database here. So we have the MySQL database dependency. First, let's uh, go into the packages and let's define a package for our model class, right? So I'll be making a simple model, right? So let me say that I'll make a new class and I'll define the model here. A package would be model and the name of my class would be customer, right? I'll be uh, taking few fields in the customer uh, object so let me add few fields in the customer object and as i told that we as i told you that we are not using spring data jpa so we will not use the at the rate entity and at the rate uh, table and annotations either we have to create the table by our own on our workbench right so these are my fields in the customer uh, model uh, i have the id i have first name last name email city and state so we'll be making a search query uh, so that the person can search the data on the basis of city, state, first name and last name, right? So let me go in the source and let me generate the getters and setters of these fields. So let me go in source and let's say generate getters and setters and select all and generate, right? So we have our model class ready, right? So now next would be our mapper class right as discussed in the previous uh, video as well so the mapper would be an interface so let's say we are making in the mapper package right so let's name it as customer mapper right so here what we will do we will be first writing a method to insert the data into the database and then searching the data into the database right uh, for filtering the data into the database and uh, i'll be explaining you the query later on let me write the code first and then i'll explain you the code right so this is my mapper class right so we have a method for inserting the data into the database we are getting the customer object now uh, we are insert uh, simply using an insert query right uh, a basic uh, sql syntax says that when you have two words in a particular field so you define that word with an underscore right so that is why uh, in our model class we are taking first name as first name but we are defining in our database we will be defining the column name as first underscore name and last underscore name right so now uh, if we are defining the column name uh, different in the database and in the model class we have a different name right so we have to use few of the keywords in the sql query to tell the query that this the word that is first underscore name and first name we are referring to the same thing right 
so here what we are doing we are simply saying that insert into the customer and we are passing first name last name email city i state and the values are first name last name city and all those things right you can see that first name is being mapped to first name only right the model name of the first name then we have the second method that we are finding the customer by criteria right so the criteria could be first name last name city state any one could be used all the four could be used right so now there is a simple method. This is a dynamic SQL query that we can write in using my betis, right? So the script tag is being provided, right? So script tag tells you that the query would be dynamic, right? So you can write the conditions into this query, what all things could work on the basic basis of conditions, right? So the select tag has been used and then we have used the script tag. Script tag tells that this would be a dynamic query. First, what we have do first, what we have done is uh, the basic thing, right? So when we we can also select all the data using select star, right? Select star from customer, but the problem that it will create is that the table doesn't know that the first name that you are referring here without underscore is the same as first underscore name in the database. So to cater that, you have to select all the columns and you have to say that the model name is this and the database name is this right so what we are saying select id right select id first underscore name as first name right so first name is referring this this field right so first underscore name as first name last underscore name as last name email city state from customer right and then where one is one equals to one is a true condition right that is to uh, add successfully the and clause, right? So, and then thereafter we have given a if condition, right? So if condition says that if the first name that has been passed from here, that is getting as an input in the request is not null or is not equals to blank and the, the table column that is the first name column is equal to the first name that we are getting, right? If that is the case, then this is the criteria, right? So the first name would be appended and the first name value would be filtered in the database. Same goes for the last name, same goes for city, same goes for state, right? So you can see that we have written if conditions. So this if conditions actually provide us a dynamic query, right? So if we, if we want to pass all the four criterias, we can pass all the four criterias. And if we want to pass just a single criteria or two criterias or three criterias, we can do it with this dynamic query. So the if condition can judge that, right? So if the column is coming null, then that if block has been neglected. If the column is com having some value, then that if block has been executed, right? So this is how you can write a dynamic query. This is the true potential of my betis, right? So uh, you'll see that how easily it will work uh, when we'll be testing our uh, application, right? So now we have written the mapper class. Now what we have to do is we have to write a service class too. Right, so let me go and let me first, first let me, uh, first let me define this as add the rate mapper to, right. So I'll have to tell it that this is my uh, mapper. So I have to mark this as add the rate mapper, right. So let me say add the rate mapper, right. So this is my annotation. Now let me save it. Now let's go and let's generate, uh, let's create a service class, right. So let me say new. And let me say class, right? And we'll define the package as service and we'll say customer service, right? Customer service. So this, this is just like uh, we are following the pattern of spring MVC, right? The service will be a uh, kind of an uh, interface between the mapper and the controller, right? So if you ha have some business logic, you can write in the service class, right? So you have to simply define methods to insert uh, the data and search the data using the query in the mapper. So this is my service class. What we are doing is we are doing the constructor injection of customer mapper, right? We could have uh, directly also used add, uh, add the rate auto wired for customer mapper, right? But we are using the customer, uh, sorry, uh, constructor injection. And then we have a method called as add customer that is simply inserting the data into the customer using mapper query. And then we have the find customer by criteria, right? So we are finding the searching the customer using the find customer by criteria query, right? So we are passing all the 
parameters that could be passed in the query right so now what we have to do is we have to simply make a rest controller so let me again create a new class let me create a new class and let's say customer controller right and let me define this in controller package so this is my customer controller so we are simply saying that uh, if you have want to add the data you can call add slash customer slash add if you want to search the data you can simply uh, call slash customer slash search and you can pass the parameters that you want to append in the url right that would be uh, looked at as a searched query right so this is get and this is post so now uh, we have to connect our database too. So let's go and add some uh, properties in the application.properties. Let me go in resources, application.properties. So this is my uh, properties. I have uh, written the uh, schema name too. So we have to create the schema and we have to create the table also. And then we'll run the application, right? So we are ready with our code. So let's go into the database first, right? So let me create a schema using this query and my schema is being created let me set it as default and let me run this query to insert data so now you can see the difference we are using the column name uh, with the underscore right so first underscore name last underscore name so i've already told you that we have to map in the query as well with the model names so let me insert and let's see that the table is there so yes we have the table of customer so now let's go on the main application and let's run the application and also test the application. Let me go in the main class. Let me directly go and run the application. Right. So when our application gets started, we'll be testing our code using uh, Postman. So my application has started. You can see that the application has started. Let me go into the Postman and let's first insert some data. So let me do post post some data and let me click on body and let's say raw and we'll be inserting the json object right so let's say that we'll be saying first name right so let me construct some data so i'll say first name first name as joe last name as Dan then we have email so the email would be joe at the rate gm dot com right then we have city so city let's take an example of ny and let's say state we say new new york new york right so we if you go into the model class you can see that these are the fields so we are inserting city and state, email, first name, last name, right? So let's push this data. Oh, we have to put the data as well. Localhost 8080. So this is my URL, customer slash add. So let me hit this API. So the data, it says that the data is inserted. So let me check that if we have the row, so yes, we have some data into the database. So let me push some more data. Let me say Adam, let the uh, last name remain same. Let me change the email ID as well. Adam, let's say the person stays in London. And let's say London only. We're taking a simple example. So let me push this as well. So we would have two rows now. Yes, we have two rows. 
so now uh, what we have to do is we have to fetch the data we have to search the data so let me say get and let me say I want to search or rather let me say what is my URL it's of search right so it's of search let me put this and now I have to append it using this right so I'll say first name equals Joe right so let me say none and let me push this so it says that we have data with the first name as Joe right so now if I say that I want the person with the last name as Dan so you know that we have pushed two data with the last name as Dan so it should re return us two datas right Adam Dan and Joe Dan right so now if I append if I say and uh, city equals let's say ny right so it should return a single data right so it is returning at single data if I say and state equals London so should it return a data no it shouldn't because the parameters doesn't match right so if I say uh, New York right so this will return data right so this will return me a data so this is how a filter query could be worked right right so this is a very good example of how to use complex uh, and dynamic sql queries using my betis right so this could be used in the legacy systems as well as a new developing systems where a lot of complex sqls are being used and my Betis can beautifully manage the uh, complex SQLs using a simple syntax, right? So this is a very good example of using a dynamic SQL query. And you can even uh, have fun with this application. Try running this application on your systems and try filtering the data as per your needs. So this was it from this video. Hope that you people find my videos knowledgeable. Please, if you find my videos knowledgeable, please like, share, comment on the video. And if new to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.